Welcome back to the channel, it's Isai here, and we're back with another video, and this time I actually have my face cam, so, hey. No, this video is me talking about the, the intriguing yet miscellaneous door of the Shadow Realm. Now, this door has been in BGS for, I know, it might surprise you guys, because it feels like it just came in here yesterday, but it's actually been in here for five months. Now, for, during these five months, we've gotten barely no um, hints or anything about this door, where it's going to lead to, what's going to happen with it, and we've even thought that maybe this Shadow Realm will be here forever. There's been really nothing, it's been saying coming soon for five months, man, and I'm, I've been really intrigued by this door. So many people in the community have been wanting to open it for so long, like from posts from just like a week ago, um, right here, and posts from a month ago, or a very long time ago, I even made a video about trying to get into it, um, and it's actually one of my most successful videos of all time, so, um, that's surprising, <laughs> well not, because this door is so intriguing, and, and everyone wants to get into it, but there's really almost nothing about it. And it gets kind of interesting the more you dig, and it, it makes you kind of think, what's the real purpose of this door? Where is it going to go to? What's Omako Murado doing? And what's going to happen? So, um, I'm going to go through all the parts and tell you all the information I have on this door, and everything you need to know, and maybe one day we'll, we will be able to unveil the secrets of this door. One day. Before we start the video, only 10% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. The rest of that 90% aren't. Okay? That's that's not okay, guys. You need to subscribe right now, and it would mean a lot to me. I'm hoping this video will do well, but if it doesn't, who cares? I want to entertain you guys, and if as long as you guys are entertained, then I'm fine with it. Alright, let's get right into the video. So, the quest of Omako Murado starts during the Easter event. And we've all seen it. We've all done it. For the majority of us but we'll skip ahead we'll skip ahead to the most recent event which is very major now this was the black hole event or we could say the shadow roll event one of the biggest events bgs has ever seen before this new event that's going to come out which is the christmas event now with this event we see omaka murado the return of him we hadn't seen him in about like three months and this is the last time we see him um for you know for the past amount of time so what happened was their planet has been destroyed. They're coming to Earth for refuge. All the aliens need help and they're here. The only thing we can do to help them is to complete quest on the power fountain. Now this power fountain is where you can get all your shards to buy shard potions and other things. Now the issue with this is we've been doing these quests for over five months and we haven't gotten any information. Now this is very interesting to me, at least, um, since we've been doing all these quests, and I might even think that, what if these quests, we have to get a certain amount of them before the portal opens or the quest starts, what if we just haven't done enough quests, and that's what I'm thinking, maybe we just should just do more quests, but anyways, who knows, <laughs> I'm, I'm just predicting at this point, but we do have some more information on this topic. The fact that Isaac has talked about on many live streams and on Twitter about how he's literally scared of working on the door. It's like a it's like a haunted thing for him. He said in his last live stream that he's just he's horrified of that door. He doesn't want to work on it. It's 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 just it's it's a long dark tunnel. He every time he starts to work on it, he just feels pain. He doesn't want to do it. And it really makes you think like he's been working on it for 5 months. It's been one of the longest updates that has ever come out for working wise. And it makes you really interested, like, what is really going on within, within this door? People have even tried to get into the door, like Sons of Fun. He literally tried to break into the door. Um, and I think he did, but I think it was just a glitch and they got in. But they really didn't find anything. It was just a little bit of a glitch they did with um, a hacker, I believe. But yeah, there's a lot of information that's unchecked and undo. And I'm going to be researching a lot in this episode to figure out what is really going on with that mysterious door. The thing is, the only real connection between Omako Murado and this entire game is the Easter event. And I believe, to this day, you can still go in to see the remembrance of the Easter event in the spaceship. 
or I believe this room at the gas station I believe you can actually walk in and still see the, the key and other things inside which just makes you curious does this have something to do with this update what if this wasn't just for the Easter event what if this was something that maybe it's the updates even out but it we just haven't searched hard enough we haven't figured it out because why wouldn't they just close this door after the Easter event? Why would they keep it open? All of these questions are just things that we've kept on saying for months now. And we might not ever find out. I actually made a video about um, going over here and trying to figure out some type of quest to try to go into that puzzle. And I was roasted um, a lot by the people on the comments, but it's kind of something that you have to think about. There's a key. There's a key right here. This is a major part of the Easter event. And the only person that we can really look up to is the Omaka Murata. And he is there. Why wouldn't they just take him out? Now, we can try to ask people these questions. Maybe, maybe Isaac will comment on this video and give us some light to our questions. But we, we never really know. <laughs> but yeah. For now, this door will remain a mystery. And to be honest... I think it's better that way. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do comment down below and show some love. Um, if I did answer any questions that you had or create new ones that you want to find answers to, please do tell me in the comments. Now, if you're excited to open this door as much as I am, please tell me because <laughs> I, I just want this door open so bad. Just like there's something about the the om omniance. Is that a, is that a word? I think that's a word. It's just so sketchy. There's just something about this huge door in the middle of nowhere um, that just makes me really want to open it. <laughs> I, I I believe a lot of you guys think the same. So um yeah. And by the way, I believe that Shadow Realm is here forever. There's been little hints to it for um going away, but no one has really confirmed these. Hints, and it's been here for over five months, and I'm pretty sure Isaac just has given up on it. He will might maybe put in an egg every once in a while, like he has down here, but we're fairly sure that there will never be an, another Shadow Realm, or have this Shadow Realm leave. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys could go buy my merch, link in the description, it would mean a lot to me. And also, thank you for Keenzy Boy, and... This other person, I can't read their name, um, for my becoming memories of my channel. It means a lot to me. If you guys want to become a member of my channel and get five minute early access to videos and also free member and also free shoutouts and just custom emojis and even cool little things next to your name, please do um, ask me and you know I'll show you how to do it. It's just very simple. If you guys if you guys truly want to know, you guys truly want to know, I'll just lay it out here. Go to the, where my video is. Go right down here, click join. This is a beautiful thing. You can get $4.99, which ha includes lots of perks, and you can get a $1.99, which also includes lots of perks, including member only chats on live streams and shout outs and videos. And all these beautiful emojis you can use on my comment sections and in um, my videos. Now, you can actually see this is a tier list. This is the green. This is what you have when you first become a member. This is what you have for being two months membership. This is for three months, this is for four months, and this is for five months and six months. So it just goes up and up and up. Later on, I will change these icons to become more custom. But for now, it's just going to be these beautiful colors right next to your name to show that you are a real epic gamer. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.